Ready! Power to stage one emitters. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Computer on. Downloading schematics. Schematics are pretty good. Initiating craft sequence. Iron, check. Gold armor, check. Gold nuggets, check. Rusted parts, check, check, and check. Here I go. Rocket, check. Now here I go. This recipe of mine glows with an awesome power. It's burning ingredients, tell me to craft you. Take this, my iron, my gold, and all of Gulliver's cell phone parts. Shining crafting! Welcome everybody to the accidental celebration of the 26th anniversary of G Gundam. We're building the giant robot hero today and uh, celebrating a couple of other things that are happening in my town today. So without further ado, this is what I got when I entered the Nook's Cranny Shop two days ago. Guess what, Chris? I have some big news to share. Nook's Cranny has been blessed with a lot of business since we first opened up here. But this is no time to sit back and relax. We've got even bigger things in mind. We're expanding the shop again. This might seem a bit sudden, but we'll be closed tomorrow so that we can con begin construction right away. I know, I know, a whole day with no shop. But we'll see you again in two days, right? The, the current, oh. <laughs> Yeah, but let's actually play the game. Um, a lot of stuff is exciting and happening. Uh, I might have a spike in turnip prices beginning on Thursday morning, so I'll let everybody in the Discord know if it happens. Uh, what's scary is that because the shop was closed yesterday, I couldn't verify my turnip pattern on that site. Turnip profit? Up until now, it's been saying there's a spike, but... I haven't checked prices all day. I haven't booted the game all day. We're gonna have to see. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you all are excited. Ooh. Good evening, everyone. Right now on holidays, it's 8.09 p.m. on Wednesday, April 19th. I mean, 22nd, 2020. Read the numbers right, Isabel. The teleprompter is right there. Now for today's announcements. Nook's Cranny is celebrating its grand reopening today. Word is the shop is a lot bigger over here, bigger now, and they have a lot more products on display than ever before. Anything that makes my shopping trips more exciting is okay by me. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Town Nook at Resident Services. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. I will, Isabel. I will. They're not going to talk about the Earth Day stuff yet, but that's happening starting tomorrow. Oh boy. Uh, remodeled my house to look ever so slightly more barn shaped, so that's the first thing you'll immediately see. Look at it. It's fancy, yet rustic. Hmm? Miss? I even made my post box look like a, an actual like US mail post box. Oh. I got Nook Miles already? I barely even started the game. What's going on? Eh. Hoping I get a spike, otherwise you're kind of boned. Well, <laughs> I got connections. I know people who are 100% sure getting a spike. We're going to see that shop, and we're going to build that giant robot. Just waiting for a few more people to get in before we do. And uh, if you're on the YouTube video, I may have clipped the giant robot construction and put it at the beginning of the video. The magic of editing. Remarkable remodeler. You finished remodeling your house, hmm? It looks like a completely new house now. I'll give you rewards based on the number of remodels you do, so keep it up. Really? This is a thing? Transformer. More than meets the eyes. I guess we're just giant robot themed today. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, and it's it's a meteor shower today too? No way. This is this is just 90s Gundam. This is Gundam Wing. It's Operation Meteor. No one is going to have any idea what I'm talking about unless they're a nerd. Uh, look at my outfit. First thing. <laughs> I might be a little dome on cashew today. That's meant for later. Forget you ever saw that. I'll be a duck today. Let's go check out that shop! Wait, no. First thing we need to do is celebrate the new shop. And then we can go inside. Oh, this is exciting! Oh, this is exciting! If you've never seen my town before, uh, we got the pier shopping area. 
uh, town halls over there. You got your little pads and everything. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. What? Why is... Why is everybody just sitting out here? Tabby! Newest addition to our village. Our new peppy villager. Isn't she adorable? How are you doing, me wow? It's the latest. Clear skies are amazing. They really make you think about how huge our galaxy is, you know? Like sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night, some of the starlight we see has traveled billions of years to get here to an island. I want to make a joke about me being the star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. I just decided to give her a New York accent. I think it's working. <laughs> yeah. Cute outfit. Donald would be proud. Oh, don't mention Donald here. It's totally, I'm totally a chick, a little chickadee. No, no, not a duck at all. <laughs> Goku, what's up? Operation Meteor, it's happening. Although they're sending a lot more Gundams than I remember. <laughs> uh, but yes, that is right. We have enough materials. Finally, after everybody's coordinated efforts to make the robot hero. And uh, that's going to be made as soon as we check our turnip prices and all that. It's going to be great. You haven't seen these updates yet. Oh, man. You'll see them soon enough. You're panicking because everyone will die. Yeah, let's ignore that part of the show. Thy mustache man, what's up? Giant robots happening today. Check it up on our town and celebrating our new shop. Hey, how's it going, amigo? Let's talk. Another day in paradise. Or as I like to call it, Hollandaise. What, why is everybody sitting out here, though? Is it for the meteor shower? Hey. The Operation Meteor Shower. That goes for everybody, too. Now, we gotta stay connected in these times. Da -da -da -da. Oh, you know, what's up? I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm seeing you. You're too dummy thick to not alert my attention. Oh, Kix! Kix has visited my town like four times, but this is the first time he's visited while I'm on stream. Spooks me, what's up? It's been a while. Welcome to Animal Crossing. But, oh, uh, yeah! I, I'm like delaying everything. I'm getting distracted by everything, but you know Animal Crossing. That's what it goes. That, that's how you do it That's how you play slow and steady wins the race Uh, Welcome chum. Have a look. No rush. No rush at all. I Shiny blow platform shoes. Oh, I could wear that with Minoka Magica Honestly, I kind of have all of these already or at least I don't feel like I need them. Maybe the cleats Flower shoes those look pretty I'm gonna get the Traveler's Backpack, though. I can make, like, a Beetle cosplay. Thank you! Bye! Sweet! Very much obliged! I appreciate your business, my chum! Anything else you want, buy? Nothing for me, sir. Much obliged! That is a terrible accent. I am very sorry. Professor, why are we trying to solve an inheritance dispute? <laughs> I'll do it pretty good. Uh, and yeah, good thing, good to hear you're doing well. Doing your online lessons, that's what everybody do. That's what everybody's doing these days. Floral mosaic tile flooring. Free stuff, nice. Check the nook stop. Daily stuff, daily stuff. The accents are killing you. In a good way or a bad way? I hope a good way. I'm just excited for new stuff to be happening in Animal Crossing again. It's been a hot minute. At first glance, I thought uh, when they data mined what it took to get the new shop, 30 days minimum of having the shop. I thought that was a long time. Now that it's here and it's right on the cusp of all these new updates and events coming out, I feel like they planned this. They planned it like exactly 30 days after the game comes out, we're gonna start announcing new updates and then it's gonna it's gonna kick off like a new era of the game with all these new visitors, crazy red, leaf, uh, earth day, wedding day, uh, all that good stuff. And you just kick it off with a new shop. It's gonna be great. You haven't been able to check any streams. I don't feel bad about that. As long as you're, you're enjoying the, do, the ones you do catch, you know, you know, that's all I ask. Ah, Chris, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How may I help you? Let's hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Chris? Right now, we'd like to celebrate the Nook's cranny reservations. Renovations, even. Interested? I sure am. Oh, man. I can compare this to the picture I took from the first renovation. It's gonna be great. 
Uh, splendid! Let's get started. Ooh, I should check my town rating after, too. It probably is gonna be docked a star because I still have 4,000 turnips lying on the ground, but we'll see. Open for Froggy Chair. Yeah, they're adding a bunch of new furniture and stuff. So I'm excited for that. Froggy Chair, Froggy Chair. They have to know at this point how popular it is. <laughs> now then, look at this. The whole town is here. 10 villagers. This is a far cry from where we started. You can see the little bit of the teacup ride. It's the whole plaza shopping area. I based it on like the Santa Monica Pier. There's like rides, carnival rides, fish markets. It's great. Now then, look at, look at it though. I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new Nook's Cranny. <gasps> Continue, Tommy. They got little apron outfits. Thank you! Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Hollandaise is developing wonderfully! Yes, yes! I'd like our Nook's Cranny representatives, Timmy and Tommy, to say a few words! Timmy, Tommy, if you would... Residents of Hollandaise, I have a message for you! Wake up! Wake up! Grab your switch and turn- buy a little turn up! Turn up! We remodel Nook's Cranny into the wonderful shop you see before you! By ourselves, completely by hand. Yep, and we're offering a wider selection of goods than ever before. It's all so we can do a better job of supporting you on this island. Oh, good work, lads. Good work. It's so pretty. Is Pietro off the cliff? Okay, no way. <laughs> nah, that happened last time. They invited him properly this time, thankfully. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who makes valuable contributions, many valuable contributions to this island's development. It's our resident representative, Chris. Anything to add? W woo. Oh, yeah. Was I supposed to wear clothes to this thing? <laughs> Either way, rocking it. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Chris. Everyone. Please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Hollandaise's beautiful nook's cranny. Hooray! Oh, once in a lifetime. I can't wait for more updates to update the shop even more. But for now, this is fantastic. It's look at it. It's, it's uh, it actually fills up all the space that it reserved. No awkward grass anymore. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Erg. Don't fall off the boardwalk on your way out. There's only like one ramp. Yeah. He sounds like a news podcaster from the 1940s. He's got that voice, you know. That wouldn't be me if I was in the 1940s. Da -da. It, you know, if there were podcasts. That too. Broadcaster, not podcaster. I was gonna say. I'm not wearing clothes. Don't tell anybody. Epic Ninny, what's up? Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, lots of exciting stuff happening in Animal Crossing. We are about to go check out the new remodeled Nook's Cranny. We just celebrated it. Also, I noticed there was some news because there was a little, uh, little, little owl on the, po on the, on the post board. Renovation notice, shop remodel notice. Nook's Cranny is open for business again. Our remodel gives us more space for more goods, so stop by and check out our updated shop. Also, check out check out the beautiful art that you guys leave whenever you visit. <laughs> Ooh, woo, hi. Hello, I am Barb. Chicky. Kaylin, rainy hey. day. Nice crappy tulip, Evan. <laughs> we got a little Minoka Peak going on. Peak. I like how the beak is like above the border all right all right i can't delay any further we gotta go check out the shop i'm excited i haven't booted up the game all day oh yes yeah no problem spooksby i'm glad you could join i'm i'm glad you're doing okay in these times yeah keep safe you too as well just have a good night okay <laughs> ah, but why chickens though because why not chickens are delicious Welcome to our newly renovated and expanded shop. Look, it's even got a, a greeting clown. I, I just, I, I don't work here. I'm just visiting. Oh, okay, Pietro. <laughs> I thought he got, he got like the job of a Walmart greeter. 
I'm so glad you stopped by to visit us on our very first day in action. We hope you'll continue shopping with us here at Nook's Cranny. Cranny! There's so many new things. Oh! Yes! It's Street Fighter! Look at it! Oh, I've been waiting for this thing. Fight, fight, what does that say? Fight, fight, fight fixin'. I'm making, I'm making a barcade in the basement of my house. It's just missing anything arcade-like at all. I was able to put in like a couple of bar stools and a counter, but that was it. Seems like you're interested in an arcade fighting game. Also, elephant slide. That's also a good item. I could put that outside. <laughs> They're Chip and Dale. I don't see any rescuing happening here. Where's Monterey Jack? 64,000 ain't nothing. Let's buy it. I'm about to be rich off turnips anyway. Oh. I'm sorry, Pietro. Were you looking at that? Excellent purchase. Purchase. Yes, thank you for the 64,000 bells. Is that a slight jab at Nintendo 64? Hey, Chris. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, I just love having a broad selection of things to shop for. After all, what's the point of living on a remote island if you can't have every single thing you ever wanted? Here, here, Pietro. That's my... That is my aesthetic. Anna, thanks for the host. Street Fighter, baby. Let's go. Who wants to fight me in Street Fighter? I can assure you, I will lose. <laughs> you need that? Uh, if I ever have a multiplayer day in Animal Crossing, please, make by all means, make sure to add my friend code and everything. Uh, not today. We got stuff to do today. Today we gotta check out Mario Maker later. What's the turnip prices? You have darts? Ooh, nice. Yeah, I've actually been needing that too. Uh, not for my basement, but for the carnival games outside on the pier. So that would be great. I have a basement already. Van, I've had a basement for a while. Turnips. They're very good. The current price for turnips is 121 bells per turnip. Oh? You'll fight me in Street Fighter? Oh? Oh? Your price is 56. No! No, 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 no. I have a feeling. I have a feeling I'm going to spike up. Look. The price went up, so it's not a decreasing pattern. Oh, that's really hopeful. I haven't checked prices since Monday. Guys, I have the stock website open right now. Turn it profit. I've got everything entered. L judging by this graph, as soon as 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 long as I get an increase on Wednesday, which is today, I th I think I'm gonna get a spike. <gasps> Guys, eighty-three percent chance. Oh my gosh, 83% chance. I, 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 potential maximum, 630 bells. Uh, my friend code is in the chat. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, I'm sorry, it's probably already too late. But if you're already on my friends list in Animal Crossing, I'll, I'll, I'll be opening my gates. You know it, I'll post the Dodo code in my Discord. <laughs> oh boy. You know, I was kind of hoping I, I, I was kind of hoping a little bit that it wouldn't spike so that I wouldn't have to worry about it. But now, now things are happening. Now things are happening. If you had PS Plus, you'd be down for Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. I, I have Street Fighter 5 on Steam, I think. And PS4. Hey, you guys want to have a community fighting day? Fighting game day? I have fighting games. I'm just terrible at all of them. All right. Okay. So that's this is this is what could happen. I'll post my price tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. I live in the West Coast, so you don't have to worry about getting there right in the morning. Uh, I'll have my gates open all day and all that. And uh, I've done. I've I've been on the uh, selling end of a couple of these, so I think I know. I think I know how to you know how to do it. Buy low, sell high. You got that right, Neo Geek. And it's gonna be very, very high. You're coming to my island tomorrow. <laughs> all right. It's done. Um, if possible, I'm not going to be adding people to my friends list tomorrow morning because that's just going to exacerbate the time it'll take for everything to get done. So you got to add me today. Remind me if you do. Um, I got to go. I don't have the notification, so I won't know somebody's added me unless you tell me. Uh, seems like you're interested in an elephant slide. Let's see. That's 4,200 bells. <laughs> Almost nice number. You say that as if that's a number that matters to me. I'm about to be a billionaire. Now I wish I hadn't sold uh, half of my turnips for 414 per at uh, Sonfax's place. 
Besides that, there doesn't seem to be much new. These items, same as stuff I've had before. Spike trading. You think you think Street Fighter V is crossplay? I I don't know about that. If it is, it'd be nice, but I think I I didn't I wouldn't think Sony would be down for that. Colorful watering can. Oh, this is cute. Kinda like that. Colorful slingshot. These are new. I'm gonna spare you the details and tell you guys, I already saw a guide on slingshot durability and just tool durability. These have the same durability as these guys, so they're just nice. They're just nice to have. They're just cool looking. Look, you got more of everything now. Timer! Yes, 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 yes. This. This is the item I've been waiting for. This allows you to like coordinate games with friends. So you can set a time limit and then it will automatically count how many fish and bugs everybody catch. Or you could use it to like play hide and seek, stuff like that. That'd be great. Street Fighter V is crossplay. Huh. I didn't expect that. That's cool. Capcom actually doing something good for once. <laughs> they always do something good as long as it's game development. I'm just uh, surprised at their business decision to let that happen. Maybe, it, do you think, you think maybe Sony made them do that? Maybe Sony was trying to repair their image of, uh, you know, the whole Fortnite crossplay debacle. I want to buy one of these. Looks pretty good. Don't know what I'll use it for. It's just nice to have a variety of cool floorings and wallpapers. You got a bear umbrella today. That sounds cute. Show me a picture. Sony enforcing crossplay? Nah. Well, that just makes me uh, wonder why they would have agreed to do it then. Uh, all right, check my able shop real quick. And then Operation Giant Robot is go! I'm just very excited. I'm just very excited. Ooh, police officer hat. Welcome to Able Sisters. You know, this outfit kind of reminds me of uh, Makoto from Persona 5. It's pretty cute. Oh, Chris, I was hoping you'd drop by, you'd drop by today. I made a new patent fabric for you to try out on your custom furniture. Here you go. How many of these does she have? I've been doing this for over a week now. I don't know how much furniture you customize, but I hope this helps. You got a detective's hat now. Do I want it? Oh, I would love that. Thank you, Anna. Is it actually called detective's hat or is it called like tweed cap? I have a tweed cap, and it looks like a detective's cap, but I'm not sure if it's, like, actually the one. Groovy tunic. This is literally just what Harvey wears. Oh, oh, I want one of those. Work shirt. That is an oddly shaped tie. I've never seen one that looks like that. What? What is this? What? I've got the 70s look right now. Just call me Tommy Chong. Look at my man. It used to be trendy. Police hat. I don't know. I, I'm like at least three of the village people rolled into one. Capo. Capcom's been making a ton of fantastic decisions in the last few years. They've been doing great stuff. I hope they can keep it up. Capcom has in terms of games and like actually giving people what they want. I, it's just that uh, the whole Street Fighter V thing came about when Sony was the one paying for Street Fighter V to be console exclusive on PS4 in the first place. So it was like right on the edge of me being wary of is Capcom making good decisions yet or not? And it turns out it was the start of something beautiful. You know, let's just forget about the Infinity Eggs from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. <laughs> that never happened. I'm styling. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. You're sure, you're sure those clothes will be trendy again one day, but today is not that day. We're cycling through. For a while, 80s stuff was coming back, and then it was 90s stuff. Maybe it'll go back to 70s. Welcome to the fish market. What would you like? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can wait no longer. What is this? Who's sending me stuff? Infinity eggs. Oh, what the heck happened? I got a whole, I got a whole lot of stuff. Oh, I heard about this. Oh yeah, it's part of the latest update. 
Hold on, let's read all these one by one. Esteemed Chris, we express that. Uh, okay, I, I claimed a couple of things. This is just from Nook Miles. I would like it to at least tell me what I got. I'll open up the presents in just a second, but let's check out. Mustache Man, thanks for the host. Let's check out what we got. Thank you for downloading the new update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye for future updates as well. From Nintendo. And Bank of Nook. I'm dreading this one. Dear Chris, we are writing to inform you that we have reduced the interest rate offered to all savings accounts. As an apology for any inconvenience, please enjoy the attached gift. We appreciate your business. Nintendo! Nintendo, as if anybody was making bank of the interest. Come on. Lame. My millions of bells were about to be millions and millions of bells. Yes, you are hosting me. Thank, thank you for that. Bell bag rug. Oh, wait. You can get the DIY for this. I've seen this before. It literally costs money to make. World map? Sounds pretty good. What did they order from the Nook Shopping? Sandbox and... Wind turbine. Pretty good. It's just stuff to decorate the outside with. Should I read more of my presents? Might as well. The income was ter the, the the interest was terrible to begin with. That's why I feel I I didn't I don't see why they needed to update that. Uh marketplace marketplace decoration? What is that? Hold on, got a present from uh Light Omelette over here. What does this do? Wait! Oh, this is perfect! This is just like those banners I see hanging off the side of, like, uh, the roads in LA near the museums. Will this fit? <laughs> Let's spin that the other way. Huh. It blocks off the area. Yeah, it blocks off that little exit I made. I mean, it's still technically possible to exit out there, I just... Huh. I might move that later. Detective hat sent. I'll check it out in one second. Uh, I was able to move uh, some of the inclines, so one is here now. So if you feel the need to exit this way to get to the beach. Like for instance, if you're just marching across the beach, you can uh, get up and down from the shopping area that way. Pretty good. People make money off interest. I don't know. I don't know who at Nintendo decided that was completely necessary. <laughs> but apparently it was. Uh, another marketplace decoration. All right, cool. Let's get that. More presents from Anna. I have enough pocket space for what I need to do later. It's gonna be great. You're just in odd how pretty my island is. Van, I haven't even shown off the whole thing yet. Oh, you, I'm gonna give the tour again. I'm gonna give a little tour because I have been updating a couple of things. This is why I'm, this is why I'm like only streaming Animal Crossing once every couple of days now so that I can stockpile all these changes and show them off all at once funny chicken how funny you think i'm funny funny like a clown detective cluck on the case comedian's outfit <laughs> oh i look like one of the doctors from doctor who look at that it's all shiny and sequiny how is this a comedian's outfit i like it I like it. It's beautiful. I'm also not wearing pants, but maybe that's part of the comedy act. You know? Oh, yeah. That is perfect. I gotta combine this with my detective coat. Oh, I, I would not be surprised if this was an outfit to be seen on Doctor Who at some point. Not wearing pants. <gasps> Look away. Impressionable youth. Sherlock Duck. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. You'd love to see the tour. Well, we'll give one after we see, after we enact Operation Giant Robot. I think I need to put on, I think I need to put on some clothes that are a bit more appropriate for the situation. At least put on some pants. All right, suit up. Now, before we build this thing, I want to say one more time, it is the 26th anniversary of G Gundam. Uh, a Gundam anime series from 1994 about giant robots that basically just fight each other for the 
for the sake of control over the world. This is the main character, or at least somewhat looks like the main character. Domon Kashu. He's got the headband. He's got angry eyebrows, and he's got this. He got this. He's got this skin tight black bodysuit, and in the anime, he puts it on by like. It comes down over his head and wraps his entire body like cellophane, and it just. It, for some reason, during that transformation sequence, it just zooms in on his butt and just stays there for a good, like, two seconds. Just, just to hit home exactly how skin tight it is. Pants, you're in a Gundam. Who cares? Why is there a rock in your house? Ladies and gentlemen, this is all the ingredients I need to make the giant robot. I am ready. It's gonna happen. Just need to make sure everybody else is ready. Carlos, what's up? But what's wrong with the cat poster? Look, she's just a member of our village, you know. You can't blame her for looking like she does. What can I say? She's working it. Da, 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 da. It looks more like a Super Sentai uniform. I, I worked with what I had. Uh, the only other thing I could have used was like a cyber tech suit. Not quite the same. Alright, okay. Giant robot requires a rocket. Apparently... It's the cockpit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to build a Gundam in the game. Before we do, though, I would like to thank everybody who graciously donated rusted parts, golden suits, rockets for helping complete this mission project. Gold suit donated by Hammy and also Lilliput to uh, rocket donated by Artificial Andrew. Rusted parts given to me by many people, including Cure the Strange, uh, Campbell Soup, uh, Sonfax, uh, Artificial Andrew, and uh, I think Hammy too. Just, if you ever gave me a rusted part, it's all in here. It's all in here, baby. Whew. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's just uh, get ready. Ready! Power to stage one emitters! I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Computer on! Downloading schematics. Schematics are pretty good. Initiating craft sequence. Iron, check. Gold armor, check. Gold nuggets, check. Rusted parts, check, check, and check. Here I go. Rocket check. Now here I go. This recipe of mine glows with an awesome power. It's burning ingredients tell me to craft you. Take this, my iron, my gold, and all of Gulliver's cell phone parts. Shining crafting. Paint sequence, initiate, customize. About to make it 30% slower. I'm sorry, it comes in red, but it's gotta be. Pure white, baby. Wait, oh shoot. Oh, 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 didn't realize I needed, fi <laughs> didn't realize I needed 50 customized kits. All right, I had 43, I thought that was enough. All right, what we had, oh my God. How does this thing fit in my house? You know, this thing is so big, I could actually see the character fitting inside it. If it was really a mobile suit. Look at this lad. He chonky. Tanuki magic. It's all pretty good. I just want to I just want to appreciate this thing while it's here and also while the music's still going look at him standing on top of the world apparently it's Tengen Tapagur and Lagan yeah baby you guys like it you guys love it I, th I think I do have some crafting kits in stores but I don't think I have seven I have one I have one. Good. I need to buy six more. Alright, 
quick trip to the store. You're coming with me. In my pockets. <laughs> Voltron! Ouch. Hey, it's fine. I got plenty of cash. Plenty of cash. Six will cost six thousand bells, actually. I don't have enough money on me. Sorry, guys. Robot pilot coming on through. I gotta finish this before the music stops. Thank goodness I downloaded the extended version. <laughs> Pay no attention to my current bell count. I swear. I swear I need more money from all my turnips. I, I basically have enough money to pay off my loan, but uh, I'm saving it. Who knows how much crazy Jolly Red actually will charge for his wares. Good thing Nook's Cranny is actually open. Good thing I'm playing this like before closing time. Oh, you know what I should do? What I need to do? I need to check what the new hours are for the shop. They might have changed. I remember back when... I was playing the original Animal Crossing. Some shop upgrades made the closing time earlier, which was kind of bold because I was used to the shop being open when I was playing. Tunic's Cranny! This is not where we buy it. This is of urgent matter. The Xeon forces are coming! We need to build the fence forces! Five. And a couple more. I need a lot more. <laughs> Two million bells. What? We got something going on right here. We got to customize this robot before it's too late. It's very important that our uh, giant robot death machine is the correct color. Or else it might draw friendly fire during the war. Yeah, I'm gonna show off everything after we get this robot done. And then, uh, before it gets too late, we're gonna start Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker 2, new update came out today. And I'm excited for it. Gonna set up the queue and everything. Okay, here we go. For Duck and Country! What war? Um, uh, you don't need to know yet. S sorry, uh, uh, spoilers. Get all those crafting kits! <laughs> That's a lot! Customize the robot here, yo. Here we go, here we go. And now, it's gonna look fantastic. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna keep it inside my house for the time being. Inside my house for the time being, because I actually do want to, you know, I I redecorated I redecorated my entire living room just for this occasion, and I can pretend it's the God Gundam. I'll 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 redecorate my room back to normal later, and then I'll go put this out next to Godzilla. What I really want to do is make another one. Is that too greedy? Is that too greedy? Make another one and have them fight. It's gonna be uh, Amuro versus Char. Nice. It's a war to the Ducky and Empire. The chickens versus the ducks. It looks gotcha Borg ish to you. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. When do I stop playing the music? I will never stop playing the music. Can we see your gaming basement yet? I, it, there's nothing in there. It's not exciting. But uh, actually. We got it, we got it, we got it, we... I've had my fun. But we gotta continue on. You will gladly contribute to the cause of making a second one. Oh boy, I think we're a ways off from that. Just a little bit. But here we go, the gaming basement. And we're gonna add our first actual arcade cabinet to it. Thank goodness. This one. Yeah! Oh, it comes with its own music. All right, I need to put an arcade seat like right here. I'm gonna have all the arcade games like lined up like this. So this whole half is like the, uh, the gaming area. And then over here, maybe like a pool table, the dartboard. Uh, this is the bar part. You know, you get your drink on. 
There are a couple of really cool barcades out in LA. Uh, Carlos, let's go to one at some point. You know, when this is all over. I remember at one, at one, they had Street Fighter 2 being projected right above the bar, so anybody in line for a drink would see my horrible gameplay. But, you know, I had the excuse that, uh, I was totally drunk. Are you the ducks or the chickens? That's up for you to decide. You gotta decide which side of the war you're on. I can't force you. A mini fridge. Should I change? Because everybody keeps their clothes in the mini fridge. Goku won't, because you don't have Animal Crossing. I mean, that's fair. Nobody's forcing you to contribute. Just, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see, um... You'll see someone at your doorstep. If you don't pay your protection robot hero part money. This is gonna be swanky. It's humble beginnings. It's humble beginnings. I can make a punch sound. I've seen your second floor. I have. I have seen it. I've seen quite a couple of people's towns. Uh, at some point, I want to do a showcase stream of people's towns. But uh, I haven't had the time. We're playing a lot of RPGs, and you know. If I don't focus on those, we will never finish. Pow! Boom! House tour! Okay, let's start with the house. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Clothes in the fridge. I... I heard that if you don't have access to a washing machine, a laundromat, or anything of the sort, as a last-ditch effort, you can put clothes in the freezer. Like, it's not gonna kill all the bacteria, but it's gonna stop them from growing, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. This That's more like a if-you-absolutely-have-to thing. So here's the living room. Uh, right now, it's like a giant robot hanger. You can refuel the robot with this Australian gas pump. Power generator, powering the engines. All my uh, documents about, you know, the blueprints for this for this thing scattered around. Cardboard boxes. You know, you got Snake hanging out in here. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's all temporary. On the side, we got... My little Japanese room. Yeah! Isn't it adorable? Because there are a lot of Japanese things in this game. Uh, it hasn't really changed since the last time I streamed, but if you're new or you haven't seen my house in a while, here it is. Got my little sleepy Kotatsu. You gotta pay attention to which of your items are customizable. I think this uh, futon is also customizable as well as the kimono itself over here. You've sent 50 giant robots to destroy the chicken empire. Wait, I thought you were on my side! <gasps> so, it's mutiny then. How do you get a Celeste poster? All these posters, all the villager posters, you get them by scanning amiibo cards. Um, so if you have an amiibo card of villagers, and also the special ones too, you go to Harvey's Island, you scan an amiibo, and when you come back, you can order their poster from the catalog. What is going on? P.A. Werewolf, you just missed it! As you can see, I am Domon Kashu. And we just built our very own giant robot. I'm giving a tour of my house, but uh... Let me just uh, show off the main room, just because we got people. What's up, Werewolf? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, man. Thank you for giving Werewolf a shout out. Hope you enjoyed uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I don't know if I'll ever stream that game, but... I hear it's pretty good. You missed crafting the robot. Did anybody clip it? I hope somebody clipped it gonna be great. I actually rehearsed the speech I made and made sure it lasted under a minute so that it would fit in the clip. You know, for, for reasons. Look at it. Celebrating the 26th anniversary of G Gundam. I actually have my Master Grade God Gundam on my desk right now. But also, I made a Gundam in the game. Domon Kashu and his Shining Gundam. Uh, I didn't know it did that. I, I didn't. I didn't know it actually shot lasers. That's cool. Oh, oh! This thing got twenty percent, twenty-five million percent cooler. <laughs> oh, this is worth it. 
this is worth all the times we um, saved Gulliver, or maybe didn't. Does one does a Gundam have eye lasers? Since today! Uh, you know, this is um, the AC timeline. And by AC, I mean Animal Crossing. You know, I think I... It kind of does look like I could make this from parts of existing Gundam models. Some of these, some of these pieces look very familiar. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo bought actual Gunplas to uh, model each and every part of this. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I can't wait to put that outside and have it fight Godzilla. Uh, Brad, sure as heck, never see yourself getting one. Well, you know, it may not be too hard. Honestly, as long... A lot of the stuff that is required for it is recipes. So, as long as you have the materials, you can send them off to friends, and then just have them build whatever you need. The hardest part is the rusted parts. And I got 25 from myself and a little help from my friends. Thank you everyone once again who gave me a part. And then once I reached 25, I waited until Gulliver came by. And if you take all of Gulliver's parts for this, his cell phone and don't give them to him, they turn rusted the next day. So that gave me the five I needed. Voltron boys. Mustache man, thank you for the clip. It's, it, well, it is red to begin with. But I was supposed I was supposed to be a Gundam. You never see rusted parts or Gulliver. Oh, someday. Hey, now that I don't need the parts anymore, I am gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give them to whoever needs them. Uh, but first priority goes to Brad because I want him to have a Gundam on his island. Next part of the tour. Uh, like I said, I got my Japanese room. A lot of stuff customized to fit me and my tastes. Donk. Donk. Donk, donk. My sleepy kotatsu, my oof chair. When you sit on it, you might hear a very faint oof. Listen. Because I sat on it. It, it, it feels pain. All my kimonos, my little parasol, little cushion, so you can rest your toesies. Not much has changed, but it's very quaint. I like it. Do I still have the spider room? Don't worry about it. You know, he does whatever he wants, and uh, as long as he pays rent, I'm okay with it. Hi, hi, hi. Is that a PK fire cushion? It's like a phoenix cushion, so a little bit. Rise from the ashes. My very first room that I got made it into a bathroom. It was a bathroom laundry room at first, but then it got a little bit crowded. So it's just a bathroom and now, uh, the room where I keep my little cat. He likes to watch when you do your business. As any cat owner will attest, they like to do, they just do that. I mean, they're not going to tell anybody, right? He's seen things. He's seen things. Wardrobe, bath. As you know, everybody's bath should have two shower heads, just in case. And uh, before long, this whole place will flood. All right, little kitty. You're very dirty. You need to go take a bath. All right. All right. Stop resisting. You gotta take a bath eventually. You just stay right there. You'll get clean eventually. Do do do. Do do do. Do, 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 do. So you kind of look like Dolmon. Yes, I do. That was intentional. This was the closest I could get to his bodysuit. Uh, in the sense that it's just uh, a black suit with a red design on the front. And that's the only similarities. Something tells me you can't exactly have this in Animal Crossing. I'm just gonna, let me get a picture of it. Epic Nenny, yes, I did see you come in earlier. Hope you're doing good. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, what's, which one of these is a good picture of it? Can I get a picture of the one that just shows his butt? No? Okay. All these JFIF files, come on. And here's a decent one. Nope, no. One picture. Yeah! I made a custom design that's got the headband. The eyebrows, those eyebrows. Tried to make them as angry as possible, but I kind of just look stoned. 
Then again, I always look stoned. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent recreation, I guess? On short notice. I was, I was setting this costume up at like 3 a.m. last night. On short notice. If, if I had more time, I would have made like a custom design and everything. Yeah. How to get Celeste poster. I literally answered that like 10 minutes ago. But uh, you have to have her amiibo, basically. Uh, go to Harvey's Island. You can scan it. All that. So we got Japanese room, bathroom, uh, and let's go check out the upstairs. Totally not avoiding that room on the right for some reason. Never even noticed the eyebrows. I always have a face pattern that gives me eyebrows now. And it looks, it looks so natural, surprisingly. Look at it. It's just at a point where it's a part of me. If I take it off, I just look weird. It's like something's missing. It's like I shaved my eyebrows off and now I, I can't express myself properly. Open. Let's put that back on so I don't feel like I've lost a part of my soul. Here's my upstairs kitchen. Why, yes, indeed, ladies. I do have the Ironwood Kitchenette. Be jealous. Be jealous! More and more people are getting the Ironwood Kitchenette, so, you know. It's not that impressive anymore, but I got this relatively early on. Mm-hmm. Look at all this Ironwood stuff. Got the cutting board, got the dresser, got the kitchenette recipe. You have Olivia to thank for that. Got the cupboard, got the table, the low table. All this fancy stuff. I got some pizza cooking on the stove. Mm -hmm. Do I have aggravation? That will complete the look. Shining finger! I can cook some rice, some soup. Cut, 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 chop, 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 chop. Two Nintendo Switches. Yes, I do have two Nintendo Switches. Where was the other one in my house? You can just order these from the catalog, I think. Oh, wait, this one you can't, I think, if I remember. Let's actually double check that. The Animal Crossing New Horizons Switch, however, you can. Uh, there's specifically a Animal Crossing New Horizons style Switch after that limited edition one. Hey, look, it's the first thing in the catalog. And uh, it doesn't turn on. You get this for free if you actually have the special edition Nintendo Switch, which which I, I kind of did when I, I bought it when, when it came out because reasons. Because it's pretty. Come on, don't, don't, don't. I, I, I couldn't help myself. And then the Nintendo Switch you get for just starting the game, I think. You can always get one from somebody else. Oh no, you can just buy it. Yeah, that's fine, that's easy. Not a problem. Looks like a fusion between Hikari Sentai Masked Man and Mirai Sentai Time Ranger. I'll take it. If I look like any sort of anime and or uh, Super Sentai hero, I'll take it. My house motivates you to decorate your house. You just have a blank extra room. Hey, call it the turnip room. Look, if you go on social media and see anybody's Animal Crossing town, there will always be somebody with a town better than yours. And that even goes for like the person with the best looking town ever. Because there is no way that somebody has the best looking town and the best looking house and the best looking patterns and designs. Like there's always going to be some aspect that people work way more than you on. I pretty much just like decided themes to put stuff in my house in. Uh, to put I decided on themes based on what I had in my storage and you know decided to make my rooms look like that kind of stuff I saw I had stuff for a Japanese room. I saw I had stuff for a kitchen. Eh, I just had to make them And the spider room watch the magma Look it's way less desolate than it was before they actually got the wallpaper in 
he's playing a board game with friends. I shouldn't disturb him. Shouldn't disturb him. We got Speedro the spider. Waspy the wasp. Zipper Jr. And look at that newest edition. Arowana Anna. Camp Anawana. We hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes us wanna fart. <laughs> Needs more magma. Needs more magma. If I could have volcano walls, I would. Hold on, let me let's go let's go look at the stuff in there. The spider is here. He's he's been learning he's been learning how to be more friendly. Not just uh, hanging out by himself. You know? It's pretty good, I think. Needs a lot more lava. Are you saying it needs enough lava to drown the spider? What are you trying to do? You trying to drown Speedro? Salute your shorts. We're going way back now. You got that right, werewolf. Only 90 kids will remember. Not 90s kids. Like, only exactly 90 children will remember. Spiders are evil. No, they're not. They're just misunderstood. And plus, this is a tarantula. He can dance to the music. Pretty good. Huh. Looks like his interest in fishing is kind of waning. But you know, we all have our our own little hobbies from time to time. Enough lava to murder the spider. Zipper is in the room. That's worse than the room was last time. It's worse than the spider, honestly. Okay, maybe I should be worried about what kind of friends he's making. Just a little bit. All right, okay. Uh, and the barcade. If you were here earlier, you saw it. It isn't really much of a barcade yet, but I'm working on it. This was in the shop today. The fighting game arcade machine. I don't think we can customize it because it specifically says fighting arcade machine. Let's check if we can customize like the color or anything like that. But I know there are multiple different arcade machine types. It'll be midnight though. You gotta go watch a movie and study. Van, it was a pleasure having you. I'm glad you were able to see the event of a lifetime. The crafting of the giant robot. I can customize the world map? What does that look like? I can just change like the ocean that's centered. Now this is the kind of map I usually see because I am in the United States. Let's go. Have a good night, Van. Thank you for being here. Good to see you, and I hope you had fun. Sleep well and stay clucky, okay? If I put the world map here, it's kind of like oh, this is our base of operations. We need to tactically deploy the robot. Ah, form a battle plan, ah, Colonel. So, yeah, that's my house. Oh, wait, I need to tour the rest of the island, too. Uh, Van, go watch it on the VOD, please, please. Get what you need to do done. There's always the video for later. Goku redeeming chicken attack. But why though? Are they flying high into the sky? Is that what's going on? Alright, let's do it. Ready? Go! We're good. There was no danger to anybody. Just being dramatic. Just wishing on stars as well. Uh, werewolf redeeming super egg. What, Zucker? Can't you see I'm busy laying in? Hey, I want to have the share core box. Why? Did you replace it with a coolest box already? I thought it was awesome, and I think you're awesome. So it seemed like a perfect symbol of buddy ship. Zucker. You are very mistaken. But thank you for the thought. I will cherish it always. Cooler box. What does that look like? Oh yeah, it's for a little camping trip. I can put this next to the campgrounds. Da 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 da. <laughs> Big V Stew wants one of what's well, one of what? You want one of the uh, arcade machines? I'll 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 get one to you. Just a uh... okay. Oh, yeah, flip you a coin. Just uh, let me know. 
They've come to tear down the robot. Good thing I was outside. I exited the base of operations. They can't enter without the passcode. You need three card keys to open the door. Giant water bug. Get out of here. You're uglying up my irrigation pond. You will pay triple what it costs. Triple what what cost? You want the giant robot? I'm not giving that away. I'm assuming I'm assuming the the, the the arcade machine. Yeah, no problem. Just confirm that's what you're talking about. You're mistaken. I'm cool, but we're not friends. You want an arcade machine? Uh, do I have you on Animal Crossing Thy Mustache Man? I don't remember what your uh, name is in the game, if so. See, one of the things is that Animal Crossing lets you choose whatever name. And uh, a lot of people just use their name name. I mitigated this problem by putting my actual name at the front of all my stream titles. So, you know, that's me. I'm Chris. You want the fighting game machine? You have the other machines already. Oh, you want to trade? Yeah, you, I'll send you one. You send me one? Big Beef Stew, you are Charlie on here. Easy. Nook shopping. It is so easy to send people stuff here. Just buy it right away. Fighting, 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 fighting. Is it called arcade fighting game? Oh, there it is. 64, I don't have enough of the money. I don't have enough money. I gotta go get, I gotta go get some. You can't add me right now. You can, well, you can add me, but I, I'm not gonna add you, uh, until I get a chance to off stream. Yeah, if, did you, did you get my friend code already? I posted it in the chat. This is not where I go to withdraw money. What if you offered a hundred million bells? Do you have a hundred million bells? I don't think so. But if you could actually give me a hundred million bells, I would actually take it because there are giant robots available on that online Nook Amazon site for way less than that. So, you know, I'll just make money and also buy another one. You don't know I don't. I somehow I don't believe it. Somehow I don't believe that the game can handle can actually handle that big of a bank balance. Unless you like dropped all your money outside. Probably not a good idea. Withdraw. That's a lot of ones. Can Thames really accepts? There's a green and a blue, but you don't remember what the game itself is supposed to be. Um, I mean, I could just send you money for another one. Because I do want all of them at one point. Uh, but yeah, no problem. I'll just send you this one for now, and we'll figure out the rest one uh, of them later. Do, 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 do. Arcade fighting game. Is there a Galaga machine? I'd hope there's a shooting game, like a space shooter machine. That's classic enough. If there's a Donkey Kong machine, I wouldn't put it past Nintendo. But if this was GameCube Animal Crossing, you'd know they'd let you play actual Donkey Kong because they had those NESs. They had those NESs where you could actually just play whatever game was on there. Ah, uh, are you on my friends? There you go. There's Charlie. Boop, boop, bada, boop. You can have... Here, you can have a graduation one. I want to express my appreciation for all that you do for me. You'll just send them both. Oh, thank you. Remind me to give you 64,000 bells. I'm assuming they all cost the same. I'm glad that the first one was the fighting game. It's so cool. It's just like Street Fighter. Do, do, do. I'm gonna get so many shooting stars. Uh, Reggie fils actually tweeted out that even he wishes that the shooting stars gave you more uh, star fragments. So, confirmed... He is out of time at Nintendo, and he needed to get back to playing Animal Crossing on his Nintendo Switch. You can confirm that the maximum number of bells in the game is 999 million. Oh man! Guess I'm wrong. They should have gone all out. You should be able to have 4 billion bells. I'm sure somebody... Somebody out there has already maxed out the bell count. Through whatever means. 
So paying 100 million for a giant robot is completely possible. If a little overkill. I gotta check that uh, Nook Amazon site. There are so many stars. So, uh, my orchard. Everything is moved over to the right place. Well, gotta move these orange trees back. I think I'm still waiting on some of the cherry trees. Yeah, these haven't grown in. There's one here, and another one over here. I'll move those later. Guys, I am so glad no, I no, kept no. all those eggs from Egg Day. Because they are doing wonders for helping me move trees. You can keep a stack of 30 and just move 30 trees at a time. You can only eat 10 at a time, but 30, 30 is enough. Uh, actually, before I get to the plaza, the, the secondary plaza, here's the orchard. And also here is my turnip farm. Ooh, and the roses are in. Oh, I can make the rose bed. Yes, 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 yes. You're not worried about the bells. Well, thank you for understanding, Beef Stew. This is where I'm keeping my turnips. Just so that I don't drop them all in my house. Sure, Isabella's gonna dock me points on my town rating. But doesn't it look cool, though? Got the little farm with the little scarecrow in the middle. Missing a head. I would argue it makes it more scary. Have you seen a single crow in this town? Not even. Not even a single crow villager. So that's how you know it's working. Behan, thanks for the lurk. There's a pinball machine too? You got a, you got a video of it? Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody's got all the arcade machines. I want what, I want what they've got. Oh man, I hear a present. Maybe, maybe the game has heard my prayers. It's got a secret desire sensor. And it's gonna give me a pinball machine in this present right now. Likely though, it'll just be money. A long chino skirt. No kill like overkill. Do I not have an actual scarecrow item? There is one? Didn't know about that. Why is it every time I play this game, I end up looking absolutely ridiculous? I swear, I coordinate outfits off stream. Let's let's go ahead and put on the detective outfit. I have enough stuff for it. Oh. Please pay no mind to the massive amount of butterflies everywhere. There is space invaders. Telephone box, you must have it. You're British. It's law. Oh, really? Well, in that case, I should change into a certain detective. Sherlock Holmes. Yes, quite. Elementary, my dear Watson. What kind of pants? Ah, uh, I guess that works. The Sherlock Holmes wear boots. I'm gonna assume he does. I need to go play Great Ace Attorney again to fully realize his outfit. But to, right now, I'm a duck detective. Now, could you tell me who this is? Dun 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 Right, Alonzi <laughs> Good old number ten. Yeah. Yeah, Mihan, if you actually have a scarecrow item, I'd love to see it. Yeah, I'll pay you for one. Elementary, my dear Watson. Yes, I am Sherlock Holmes. How did you know? How did you know? Need the blue booth. Unfortunately, I can only get this color one. If anybody has a blue phone booth, I would love to have it. If anybody has a police box, I would love to have it, but I don't think that's an item in the game. Yeah, Mustache Man's gotta go. Alright, well, thank you for being here. I'm glad you could have joined. Please, by all means, have a good... Is it is it daytime over there? Have a good time zone. Yes, that's how I should say that. They'll need to upgrade a bridge. Oh? All of these I'm just gonna do off stream. Uh, we've been streaming for about an hour and a bit. So I'm just gonna continue giving on my tour and then we're gonna switch to Mario Maker 2. New update, excited for it. Hey, anybody, has anybody played the new Mario Maker 2 update yet? 
Uh, has anybody checked out all those worlds? Anybody know of any good ones? I'm gonna be opening up the um, Mario Maker Warp World queue so you guys can paste in your codes and join the queue. It's not open right now. Oh look, shop just closed. But uh, that'll be a nice organized way for us to get all our all the all the codes in and whatnot. Here's the pier. You got the shops. You got the fish market. It's a work in progress. The the the, the pier just kind of ends. But um, one of the new updates is more stores apparently. Like Kix is gonna get a shop. I don't know if that was actually revealed or if that was like a rumor. But I'm gonna expand it like up here and then put Kix shop up there. Check your mail, me hand. What did you send me? It's gonna. Oh, my farm is gonna be beautiful. Thank you. Do 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 do. You have a red phone box. Oh, I can make I can make the time machine from Bill and Ted. I guess. Egg. I love that I got a meme that's so easy to make letters of, in Andable Crossing. Scarecrow. All right. Nobody tell Batman. Because I'm about to bring in one of his villains. Off we decide! Yeah, no problem, mustache man. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Oh! There you go. Considering that the people in Animal Crossing have these giant heads and thick bodies. Having a scarecrow that's actually proportioned like this is very awkward. It's like if you made a scarecrow with a tiny, 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 like, pea-brained head and the, the limbs are just like twigs. Check this! Oh, if I had a cow, I would totally put it on my farm. Absolutely, Yellow Pikachu. Alright, no stars. Stars! I want to make that... Rose bed. Gonna have to get some more roses for my storage. This tour. I feel like I give this same tour every time, but you know, I'm down to do it. You can watch all my videos, all my Animal Crossing streams, and compare how my town subtly grows from stream to stream. We gotta make a rose bed? We doing it. Now, if you get, if you think it's like, oh, like a flower bed? No, no, it's literally... Wait, what? It's literally a bed made of roses. Oh, I need wood. Easy enough. Or not? Okay, here we go. I was a little confused why they didn't put it next to the hardwood and the softwood. Bada boom. You're gonna tell Robin. Okay, you can tell Robin, but not Batman. He's on his way to see the Joker anyway. Look at that! It looks... it... Is it weird to say it looks kind of delicious? Like it's made of frosting and not foam or anything like that. I think what I'm gonna do to that Easter Plaza, because you know, it's like two weeks past Easter now. I'm gonna go turn it into a flower plaza. Uh, make it all natural. Since Earth Day is coming up, I can add some of those bushes that Leaf gives you. Bunch of flowers. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. That's my current idea for it. If I have something better, I'll change it again later. But this flower bed is gonna go perfectly in there. Check it out! Would you stop shooting stars? How? There's an intergalactic war going on. Those are all Gundams and Zakus. Earth Day was today! Yeah, the actual Earth Day is today, so happy Earth Day, everybody. Please, do your part. Keep the world safe. For Captain Planet's sake. The... In Animal Crossing Earth Day event, however, runs from tomorrow for... I don't know how many days, but it's... It's it's a... Uh, it's a couple days long. It does kind of look like frosting, though. It might also because be because I've been eating a lot of cupcakes recently. I ordered a whole box of them the other week, and, you know, been trying not to eat them all at once. Earth Day! Where are all the Pokestops and Pokemon Gyms for Pokemon Go on my boardwalk? 
Well, um, uh, there is a little cafe area. I'm sure that's a Starbucks. My old work office used to be right above a Pokestop. And it was so cool because I could actually access it from my desk. So I had that little, um, wrist attachment that let you just get items by pressing the button. And it would just constantly go off every five minutes. I would never have to open the app, just like sit at my desk and press the button every time it vibrated. Pretty good. Wow, nice cheers, Yellow Pikachu. Celebrating Earth Day with a bang. You know, you would eat all the cupcakes. I think they're so sugary that it's actually stopping me from eating them all at once, which is good. Which is very good. We got a little mini camping area. If you want to sleep under the stars, you can literally do so. Get abducted by an alien in the middle of the night. It's part of the experience. Alien Al, here to greet you. Hello. Hi. Now, we need to get Alien Al back to his home planet. So, uh, let me reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. And we should be able to get him home. Meteor shower. Nice. Yeah, sleepy memories. Today is a good day for Animal Crossing. We, uh, built the robot hero yesterday. Yesterday. Today. Why does it feel like yesterday? It's yesterday if you're in the East Coast. Because I did that before 9 o'clock. My time. We built the robot hero, the true final boss of Animal Crossing. And you know you love to see it. Giving a tour of my town right now before we return to my house and call it for the day. And then start playing Mario Maker 2. Woo! Funny! Hope you're doing good. That's a tiny alien. Or maybe we're just giants. Why? Oh. I'm dumb. I could have planted a money tree there. Guess I'll have to do it tomorrow. This is where the campgrounds used to be. But considering the new update adds a use for the secret beach. I'm just going to go ahead and terraform this entire place into a valley. So we can have easy access. Jolly Red thinks he's being sneaky. Nope, turns out we're going to bring out the entire welcoming wagon. Let's not release this cursed item. Put him back where he belongs. That's where I banish all the wobbling zipper toys. They keep reproducing. I don't know where they keep coming from. It's very scary. So, former campgrounds. I'm gonna have to, like, move these rocks too. Break them or something. They used to be easy access, but since I don't have a slope here anymore, it's gonna be hard. Kill it! Kill it! Don't you know? You cannot kill a demon. You try to decapitate a wobbling zipper toy, it just grows two heads in its place. The only effective way to deal with it is to banish it to the furthest ends of the world. That was a jewel beetle. Lula, what's up? Hello, yes, please show the robot. Lula, thank you for donating to the Operation Giant Robot Cause. It has served us well. We were able to make that robot. If anybody's got the clip, we made a whole event out of it, and it was fantastic. Oh, I wish you could have seen it. Thank you for giving those that gold armor. Uh, I don't remember. I think he also gave me some rusted parts, too. All for the cause. And ladies and gentlemen, the museum, also a present. <laughs> just in time. Did two fossils just spawn right next to each other? Wheelchair. Wheelchair. Huh, that balloon must have been, um... It must have, uh, it must have been, it must have belonged to Carl from Up. Yeah. Gotta be handicap accessible. 
Unfortunately, the museum is not. Maybe if I change this into a natural slope. But for now, I had to get rid of an incline in order to put a new set of stairs up to the pier area. Yeah, thank you for those parts. You did, you did great things for our community. Ladies and gentlemen, the museum. Oh, I need to donate this blue marlin. Look at this little courtyard area. Isn't it nice? Overlooking the fossil dig site. Look at that. We got a little trilobite in there. A place of history. Beautiful. I hope Blathers accepts it. My island looks really nice. Thank you, Sleepy. I've worked hard on it. I don't... I don't... As far as looking nice as a whole, I don't know about that. I kind of just decided to put things in random places. But I work hard on each individual thing. As hard as I can. Do, do, do. You think the museum approach could look better? The fact that um, one of the stairs is missing doesn't help. But, um... Yeah, I didn't really plan out the way up to the museum as much as the plaza for the museum itself. Um, I might end up moving it because it's really cramped up here. I only gave it an exact amount of spaces. But for now, it is it is what it is. Uh, any bigger and it might have started encroaching on the village area. Good evening, Chris. Welcome to the Harland Hayes Museum. Hi, Chris. I've been meaning to tell you the good news. Hooty hoo. Hooty hoo. Thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks of Harland Hayes, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Thus, I am considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So if you should find yourself in possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. As in, Jolly Red. Ooh, you have admired the robot. Very good robot. And we're going to see it again once I get back to my house. How may I be of service? Still not done with the tour yet. Still need to show off the village and then we can go back. Ooh, woo -hoo -hoo. This is undoubtedly a blue marlin! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your blue marlin? Wonderful! I would love nothing more! The blue marlin has a distinctive angular shape and no scales. It is an unusual relative of the tuna. These mighty fish can exceed 13 feet from bill to tail. Some accounts even have it fighting with whales. Whew, they're round! No wonder it's a popular target for sport fishing. Unlike most fish, it seems like a worthy opponent. And there you have it. Thank you, Blathers. For spitting straight facts. I feel like I'm not gonna go... Check out the museum exhibits until like, I donate a whole lot more stuff. And also until the art gallery comes in. I think that'll be a perfect time to, you know, do a little status update. Huh. Looks like one of the exhibits escaped. Again, the fact that the people in Animal Crossing are not proportioned like this makes this extra creepy. Coming on back, we got the picnic area. Have your steamed dumplings and your little Sakura sushi box. I'm surprised these haven't gone bad. Considering they've been here for like over a month. Look at the little hearts. Isn't it beautiful? And last but not least. Well first, we got the beach changing area. A lot of axes. This is kind of the, the wood chopping forest. Very organized. Last but not least. The town. Let's see who's up to something cool. Maybe somebody's building some DIYs. We got from order of no particular order. O'Hare's house. He's not in. Bam's house. It's a human skeleton from ancient times before they evolved into the perfect form you see now. Bam's not building anything. Bye, Bam. <laughs> uh. If you wanted me to talk to you, you should have been crafting. Everybody else in the game tells me to get crafting. It's the only thing you can do when all the shops are closed. Besides fishing and bug catching. 
You like the big Yoshi. Well, of course, that's because this is none other than Pietro's house. You know, you know him, he's always such a kidder. He made it himself. Such an artistic clown. Yeah, you made it. Surprise, Chris. This place is like a shrine to me. A shrine to myself, for me. <laughs> Everybody wish a very belated birthday to Pietro. It was his birthday on Sunday. We celebrated with a little mini Animal Crossing stream and we gave him we gave him a balloon hat. It goes with his outfit so perfectly. Octavian. I actually do have every single octopus in the game. Check it out. Octavian, Marina, and Zucker. There's a fourth octopus in New Leaf, but unfortunately he didn't make the cut into New Horizons. <laughs> I only talk to very specific people. Only if I deem you worthy. Inkwell. He was only available by Splatoon Amiibos, and they took out all the special, like, event edition Amiibo villagers. Sadly. Did you know that it's Pietro's unbirthday? <laughs> Change places! We love all the octopus friends, and they love you, Lilla. Ah, Chris, what a pleasure it is to see you today, Purr. I got up bright and early today, Purr. After all, you know what they say, the early cat gets the to-do list done. Very productive, Olivia. Olivia, one of my favorite villagers, as you might be able to tell. I had her in the very first Animal Crossing on GameCube. I'm so happy I was able to bring her over into this version of the game. Uh, Olivia's house and Marina's house. Over here we have Tabby's house, uh, Muffy's house. Muffy is our black sheep villager. One of our starting two, Muffy and Bam. Muffy. Uh, this is... Whose house is this? I swear I remember. Uh, I got it. It's... It's... Meringue's house! How did I forget I have meringue? Meringue's like one of the most popular ones. Look, she's a strawberry shortcake! Her horn's a little strawberry. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. What are you up to? Meringue's house is so cute. It's like one of the only houses in the game that actually looks like a house that you could live in. There's no bathroom, but at least it's got a kitchen. <laughs> Though you do miss her sweets furniture. Oh, is that what she used to have in New Leaf? I would imagine, though. I would imagine it would look super thematic. A lot of the houses had to be toned down a little bit to fit with the amount of with the furniture items that are actually in the game. I'm currently crafting a wooden mosaic wall, just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. Want to learn how to make your own? Yes, please! Give me all the ingredients to make the perfect little girl. Just need to get some chemical X from Crazy Red. I'm sure he's got the bootleg goods. Just don't take any yourself. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention, this is a little, uh, chill hangout plaza. Natural wooden tables, chairs. Get a little drinky drink. Anybody want any? Anybody want a soda or something? Unfortunately, they're all just cardboard cutouts. Don't trust Red. Don't trust them. He's done shady things. He's shifty. He calls you cousin. And Zucker's house. Probably one of the least cohesive themes of anybody's house. Like, I'm getting the feeling that he's supposed to be uh, a street food vendor. This wallpaper is cool. Look at that. The city scrolls on a different plane from the chain link fence. Oh, that's cool. I wish Sahara would give me actual... actual wallpapers. For three times in a row that she's visited, she's given me the paintball wall. Come on, Sahara, give me something good. Can't imagine cooking without my cutting board. I can think about making any kind of food with this. <laughs> Thinking about it doesn't make me less hungry, though. 
Oh, that was your stomach. I thought you were doing like a Homer Simpson. Oh, donuts. This is his takoyaki stand. That has implications. All right, we're done here. Hey, 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 uh. What's up, Folzy? Hope you're doing good. We're just finishing up our tour of the island. Um, celebrating our beautiful, beautiful robot hero. The f true final boss of Animal Crossing. Check it out inside my barn house. Isn't it fantastic? I want to appreciate it till the end of time. We had a whole event about crafting it and everything. And I'm so glad to finally have it. I turned my house into a hangar just to fit it in. Look at it. It's standing on the world. <laughs> you miss a lot of the old furniture. Like, sure, the new stuff is lovely, but give you back your crazy OG Animal Crossing stuff. Give me back Froggy Chair. Give me back the retro TV. Sometimes I would just not have any KK music playing in my house and instead just play the... Just play, like, a TV or something. If I do talk to Crazy Red, remember my art training from Later Alligator. Oh, that was horrible! Finding the differences between the two pictures. I don't know why, but I was just so terrible at that. Because I couldn't do my cross-eyes trick. Goku just finished drinking some chocolate milk. Cause you epic? Don't lie, you are. Hey you, everybody in chat? Here's a chalky milk. Cause you epic. That's not a chalky milk. This! This is gonna be some chalky milk. Here we go. Hey chat. Here's some chalky milk. Cause you epic. Drink this! Yes! <laughs> Cow milk. I'm surprised how much that fits, yo Pikachu. Is there any way to treat the world on Earth Day? Yes, we are protecting it! Protecting it with the power of lasers! Dang! Now that's epic. <laughs> what kind of weaponry is this? Yes, sir. Reports indicate that the aliens invading are all lactose intolerant. On top of that, they hate the taste of chocolate. So chalky milk is the perfect weapon against them. All right. Send in the chalky milk army. Yeah. You're doing good. Just relaxing after work. Hey, yeah. Whether you're um, just starting your day or finishing out. I hope this has been a chill experience for everybody. As chill as, it, as, as chill as it can be with a giant robot protecting the world. You didn't realize they came in different colors. Oh, actually, let me show you. Because it's a DIY, I'm glad that it's a DIY and not just something you redeem by Nook Miles tickets directly. But, you know, besides the fact that the recipe is absolutely ridiculous. You can actually paint it whatever color you want. It comes in red, but you got blue, you got yellow. This one just straight up looks like Bumblebee, actually. You got green, pink, I like pink. You can assault their eyes while you assault them with rockets. Black and gray. Oh, the gray one's pretty cool. It looks shiny. Like it's not gray as much as it's just metal. But you know, I made this to be a Gundam. I got to have that classic Gundam white. I want to look into making a robot that looks exactly like this. I want to see I want to make a Gundam model that looks exactly like this uh, before the stream, because today is the 26th anniversary of G Gundam. I actually got my God Gundam model kit uh, and just put it on my desk. It's just there. Shining finger eternally. Pretty good, ain't it? Been making Gundam models in real life. I finally made one in a video game. Also, yes, it does take 50 customization kits 
to, 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 to color. Hey, look, there's a lot of surface area. It's like when I buy an entire can of spray paint just to paint one model kit. Thanks, Twig. What's up? We made it. We did it. The robot hero. It's here. I will sit here and appreciate it for as long as it takes. As long as it takes less than like 10 minutes because we got to switch to Super Mario Maker 2. I think we've taken care of all the big stuff we need to do in Animal Crossing and that makes it a perfect time to change games over. Yeah, welcome on in. We just wrapped up our daily activities, checked out the new upgraded shop. We're ready to take on the world. The black one could be Megatron. You're right. When you're right, you're right. So, is the post game of Animal Crossing just making enough robot heroes to have one of each color? I bet it is. I bet it is. The only thing, the only weird thing is that it shoots eye lasers. What, and you don't find it weird that it comes equipped with chocolate milk? Here you go. You think you're safe? Ha! Just rocket fists it right over to you. Thought we were gonna play Mario Maker at some point. But why play Mario Maker when I just when I could just appreciate this robot? End game is turnip farming. That's also true. Alright, okay. I think that's enough appreciation. Hope you're doing well, thank Twig. Hope you're doing well, everybody. Um, if you were just here for Animal Crossing, we're switching games over. We got it at some point. There was a new update for Mario Maker. It adds a lot of cool stuff. Worlds, uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, power up. Fun, exciting things that change the way you play the game forever. Forever. For now, that's it for Animal Crossing. I will stream this game again tomorrow? It depends. It depends on if Leaf is actually here tomorrow to do Earth Day stuff. And then I might like focus time on terraforming and then prettying up my town. Uh, but for now, uh, I need to make sure I'm going to have that turnip price spike tomorrow morning. Again, watch the Discord for if I post the Dodo code, then you guys can visit if you're already on my friends list. And uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'll see you then. We're switching to Mario Maker. Don't go nowhere. We're going to take a quick BRB. Uh, grab a drink. Grab a snack. Get some chalky milk. Do whatever you need to do. Pet a dog for the rest of eternity. But uh, I will be right back.